Well, the next step would be to canter 10 strides slow, and then canter 10 strides fast, and then canter 10 strides slow. Now, it's really important when you do this that the change of speed is a noticeable difference. The change of speed is a controlled difference. So if I was to pick up and to canter my 10 strides slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then fast, where you could really tell that he's going faster, and then slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and let him go faster. And when you let him go faster, let him go. Let him pick how fast he wants to go, and then slow for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, ten. Let him go faster again. And then slow. Don't come out of the canter, just slow. And after a while, that slow will be getting slower and slower. There, I slowed it down too much. And he'll be looking for the change. He'll be looking to go. And then he'll be looking to come back. Come on back a little more. And you want to get that in both directions also.